Well, hello, boys and girls, and eventually uh, welcome along to Cairnhill Cabin in County Cavan in Ireland. And my name is Margaret McKenna. Apologies there um, for being a bit late, but um, the uh, technology, as usual, let me down. So sorry about that. OK, so today we're going to do a, a little picture of two little piglets. This came as a suggestion uh, the other day, and um, I think it was Kate gave, uh, left the suggestion for me. I could be wrong, but I think it was. And um, it came out of my little jar. So if anybody has other suggestions, please, please let me know and write them down. Um, I'll write them down and put them into the jar before the end of the lesson. If I see them, if not, I'll do it later on. Because uh, one of them I didn't see till later on in the class. I think it was a horse and it's gone into the, the little jar too. OK, so here we go. Um, we're going to do two little piglets. So as usual, we're going to get start off with our pencil. And as ever, I'm going to tell you to please hold it nice and light in your hand and don't write too heavy but we will do some lines heavy later on and some little dark lighter okay so to start with we're going to do the his little head here see this little fella here on the right we're going to do him so we're going to come over about about middle of the page okay because he's actually a little bit to the to the over here a little bit to the side of the middle of the page and we're going to do a circle now i'm going to do it heavy so you can see it okay so we're going to do a circle like that and you do it much lighter than me Okay, so we'll start off with a circle, like that. Okay. Now, and then we're going to add a little bit on the front. So we're going to add a little shape like this on the front. It goes down, and it's going to come down like that. Can you do that? Don't come out too far, because otherwise the snout will come out too far. See, sorry, I'll put it in front of the camera there. I'm doing it on the phone at the moment, so it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit of a thing. Hi, Tammy. What's that say? Um, a badger please oh yeah i'll put the badger in don't worry and now we have a little bit on the nose like that it'll, like a little semicircle bit like that okay and we put it in lies i've got funny little sort of little sort of um long little like little eyes like this kind of a shape like actually almost human shaped eyes almost still like that we won't put the inside in yet or we can actually we can put a little inside in it now you can just draw it in for now in a pencil. Actually, you can make that a bit... This eye can be darker. It doesn't matter if you do this bit dark. I have to do it all dark. But remember, you'll be doing some of these light because we're going to rub out some of these lines. So we're going to put in his ear now. And we put in one ear like that. And we put one ear like that. See? Now, we can get rid of the lines we don't need now so it doesn't get too confusing. And remember, you're going to be doing it nice and light. I have to do it dark so you can see it. So the first one we're going to take out is we're going to take out this little one here, Okay. Because we don't need this one anymore. And we don't need this one anymore. We can leave that one in because his ear is on the other side of the head. So I'll just make sure you can see. I'm kind of going the wrong way with this. It's different when you do it on the laptop and I, and I film on the on the camera. The two, two, two different looks and I don't know which whether I'm going right or left half the time. Okay, so we're going to do his neck in for the next. I'm going to do his neck in. Normally I do the rest of the body, but I have a reason for that now. And I'll show you why. I want to put his little neck in here and here. Here, don't make it too long. So just about like that, okay? And then we're going to do this, his bottom, basically. And, because, and the reason I want, not the middle bit, because, and I don't want to come too far back or else he'll have a big, long body. And we don't want too big and long a body. So I'm going to put a big circle here like this. Watch this. Now you do this one nice and light. So this will be big, okay? Big circle like that. So don't leave it too big a gap here, okay? So make it kind of, Quite close to that little neck bit okay like that and then we're going to put a bit on for his front of his body so we're going to do like a semicircle just like that look and now you see why now you see why we didn't want to leave too big a gap because it'll make it look like it so this is just his his bum bum and this is sort of the, his belly kind of looking around the corner at his the little bits here okay so you just do like that so keep this this will be very close to his neck now how do we do his back legs? But you know what's interesting about it? If you look at this picture here, I'll just put this one here. Look at that shape there. Look, what does that look like? Does anyone see what letter that looks like? What letter does that look like? I bet you're all shouting at the top. It looks like a letter W. Okay, so here we go. Watch this. This is how we do his legs. We're going to go in like that. We're do, imagine we're doing a big letter W and it has to start there and end there. So it's going to start on this side and then it's going to go like this. And it's going to go up into the circle. Now watch, see the way I'm bringing it up into the circle? And it's come down like that. And then it's going to come down like that. Now you see, see how easy that is? Look. So it's just like a big letter W. And then we can rub out the little bit we don't need in here. 
You see? We don't need to do his tail in for now because we do his tail in later on when we're doing the drawing, okay? And then we have his little leg in the front. And his little leg in the front is very easy. It's just like, it's like that. We can put the details in the little paws in our, or the little hooves in afterwards. Little trotters, little trotters. Little trotters are just like little jigs up like that, like. See, there's the trotters. See, like another, it's like another little W, baby W's at the bottom, with big long tops on them. So now we're going to draw the, his little pal sitting in the muck, because they like the muck, don't they? Now we're going to move that over here so we can see it properly. Okay, so we'll just move it over here a bit now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get his, this little fella's head in. So he's come down a little bit, and we're going to get a round, just a really nice roundy shape like that. Oh, didn't slip to me. I'm probably doing him a bit too near the other fella, but it doesn't matter. Now, okay, so we have it like that. And then we're going to put his little, we'll just overlap a little kind of, a, it's not quite a roundy shape, kind of an egg shape like that there. And it just overlaps a little bit the bottom of the face. And we can rub out that line there now. You see, you can take this line out. Remember, you're going to be doing a lot lighter to start with. You can always make the lines heavier later on, you see. Now. And we can put his two little nostrils in. So we put two little nostrils in as well. We can do like, like that. And like that. See? And then we just do make sure that his nose looks like it's going back. So we're going to put a little line like that. And a little line like that. And then we're going to put in his two little eyes. Now, watch his little eyes. His eyes are kind of coming slanty down. They kind of come down like on the other side of on the far side of his head, each head or each side of his head. I mean, see like that. And you can put his little eye things in there like that. Like little, they're very human looking eyes, actually. I will put his ears in. His ears, he's got one ear up here and he's got another ear out there. They're quite big, the ears on and the little piglets. They're quite big for the size of their heads. And then all we do for his back is we don't have to do all his back. We, all we do is imagine there's a circle around here, but you don't see all the circle. It's going to come up behind his behind his head. And we can put, now the, I, my one, it, I have a little space here. We could probably put a little space in here. I'm going to overlap a little bit with his body. See the way I have, you can draw right through it like that, look really light and then you'll get the shape right and then you can rub out the lines you don't need okay and then we have his little leg his leg's really easy it's just like a little shape like that a little bit like that see it's really easy because they're tucked underneath him he's having a little they sit down in the and just like a little like that so it's a big shape and then an egg and two little lines i have these two little bits like this and they've got a big roundy one like that because he's got little, his little trotters are all tucked on underneath them. Okay, now we're going to do the fence. So we have, first of all, just get the, we'll just get the background. So we just put a little bit of a, like this is where all the muck is. So you can just imagine that's all the muck there on the ground. And all the, and then we're going to have the, we're going to have the fence. So we're just going to put a line up here like that and a pointy bit on the top and come all the way down like that. Okay. And then we're going to do another one up out of his back here. See, up over we go over here. You see over here? We're going to do another one up out of his back there like that. Like that. And then we're going to come across and put his li the lines across here like that. Just these lines. And they're just the defense lines. And my ones are slightly different. This time my hand's fence is a bit higher. And that's fine. Every time you do it, it'll be a bit different. And that's one thing I always say, don't try and copy, copy, copy to the point where it's so this, exactly the same as my one. Try it every time I do a picture, it's always a bit different. So it is. Um, what's it? A bright, brighter, oh yeah, brighter. Is it a badger, please? Oh, it's not this badger, yeah. Because it is kind of dark on this, on this thing. Okay, now here we go. So we're going to do our little, our barn. So I'm going to come up here, the line, and I'm going to just go round like that. Like, so it's just like up and around. And we just put a little, little bit there and a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit in like that. Look, so it's like we're seeing inside the barn. Like an L shape there coming down like that. And then we're going to do, we'll do a little, we'll do a little cloud in the sky. I've got a bit of, don't mind a bit of paint gone on that page. I'm trying to spare me pages. So don't mind that. Don't mind that. We can make them into birds afterwards. 
at the moment they're just little blobs but just look you can make your your cloud in this corner of the sky and now we're ready to paint okay so first thing i did is i used um using um my watercolor or my poster paints which are these paints here but you can use any kind of paints you could use um watercolors you can use um acrylics but be careful you can use wear on clothes you could use um any kind of any kind of paints really you can use or even coloring uh, coloring pencils or something okay so we're going to start with our light blue so i'm going to use a light blue sky if you don't if you don't have a light blue paint i have a, I happen to have a light blue paint if you don't just mix a bit of white with your with your blue i have two blues one of my blues is kind of running low so i'm going to try and just my my blue my dark blue is running a bit low so i'm just going to use the light blue anyway and we just color this i'm going to just give it one coat i could probably give this two lots on this because it's a very very light it's a very watery kind of paint this one that i have Um, i think i've said that to you before so all on top over here and i could give it another coating but i'll just give it the one coating for now i could come in you might be it depends on the kind of paint you're using now see what but see what i am doing see the way when i went around then like that i then dragged it you can either drag it sideways you can drag it up but don't have a line going around like that kind of drag it back up into the picture and then it makes it look like the sky is behind the thing you see so here we go where am i going here's my blue now we're going to come in here like that and i'll be putting these up on youtube i have a couple to put up on youtube um from the other day another little and that little gap in there see between his head or between this is his neck and this fella's back i had one at a bigger space in here see on this one it just depends on where you put your animal exactly and that's all going to be red so there's all our sky in and as i say i can i might turn that into into birds later on those those scratches that came out okay so next step we're going to do is we're going to do our um we're going to do our barn so i just have a little red barn so again i'm just going to color it you can put whatever color barn you want now you don't have to do the red one and again i'm going to drag it down like that like that up here can you see there just the whole way along this is kind of the just getting in the backgrounds first probably best to do all the backgrounds first again in the, in the back in the, the one that are behind all the pigs the little piglets okay and then we're going to use a little bit of brown and a little bit of blue now <clears throat> now what i did was i have a dark blue here so i'm going to use a dark blue and my brown together to make a very dark color you see look and it goes really if you mix a dark brown and a blue together it gets a very dark color and i'm just going to color that bit in the barn so it's like it's it's in the shade and we can't really see what's happening in there I don't see anything in there so it's like that okay good stuff now what we're going to do next is we're going to paint the piggies so what color are piglets do you know they're actually very like skin color if you're and it's a, you know very like um like almost like a human skin color so what we do is we mix a little bit of red and then we get a bit of white and we add a bit of yellow into that so it's red and white and yellow and a good bit of white because you don't otherwise it'll go very very dark very quick so you get up what's called a kind of a kind of a skin color -y color and we can color it in like that did you know that the pigs are um one of the very few animals besides people that actually i'm going to rub out a couple of these lines now before i do that sorry are get sunburn so i'm going to rub out that line there we don't need the lines going through his bottom anymore you can leave doesn't matter about that line too much you can take out some of that line but that doesn't really matter no there it's only the legs the joining the legs to join on here just take them out now mine would be hard to do because mine is very dark lines but yours should be easy because you'll have done it nice and light so we're going to color all this yeah pigs get sunburn so they have skin like you but people so you can't leave them out in a day like today it's nice and warm okay here we go i'm going to come all the way down here like that Hopefully I'm getting a new camera for my um for my laptop. So hopefully I'll actually have I won't have any more hassle with cameras in the future, which will be great. Now we're gonna go around the front of his face. And we do this little fella here as well. His little friend sitting relaxing in the muck. 
No. I'm going to put him here. Oh, I'll just colour it all in for now. We'll put a bit of shadow on him in a minute. And in his little ear. And his little trotter, his little foot. Or as we say, what is it when you have them in the... It's crew beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Now we're going to put a little bit of red on it. Or not red, a little bit of brown. So we get a bit of brown and a little bit of white. And a little bit of, little bit of the... It's like a darker, a little bit of red in that as well. So it's like a brown and a red and a white. Just a little bit deeper. And we're going to start to shadow. So we're going to put a line, of, just a little bit around his bum like that. Look. I'm going to put a little bit down this leg here like that. Okay, now you can do a little, just a little bit, a little bit under his belly in here. Now, to see where that line is just showing you now, to see where is the circle here, we're going to just bring a little bit, a little bit of shadow in there. And a little bit down the back of his leg here as well, this front leg. Now, I'm going to get a little brush. The reason I want to get a little brush is I want to add his tail. So I'm going to use the same colour, the brownie, it's a brown and a red and a white together. And I'm just going to put a little twirly square like that, look. And that's his little tail, just to end up up there, okay? And I'm going to use a little bit more, I'm going to put a little bit more of that colour underneath his, she is little face. A little bit inside his ear, and on the back of that ear. And then we move down to this little fella on the ground. So we're going to put a little bit of shadow underneath his, the bottom leg like that. And we can put a little bit under his face. Now when you're doing it under the face, you can just do it a little bit in, just beside his nose. I might use a small brush here because the little brush is just getting a bit big. So it's a red and a white and a, and a, and a brown. And we're just going to put a little bit in here, just beside his nose. We can put in, remember those lines you put beside the nose? You can put a little bit there like that, look. Just like that. A little bit on his body in here we can put too, because that's all in shadow. Remember, he's sitting there like that away. He's going to be in shadow there. And we'll put a little bit in the middle of his ear like that. And a little bit on top of this ear like that. Remember, you can always look back on these afterwards if you miss anything. So don't panic about not getting it all done in one go, because I'm working probably fast enough. So here we go, top of his little little foot there look now like that we give, we give a little bit of scrape on this if you have very little on my brush look I can take some off the brush and then I actually take a dab it off the brush and I put a little bit just a little bit along there but don't put too much on the brush sometimes you put less paint on the brush is even better than putting too much paint on the brush and now we're just going to put the colour on the ground. So the colour on the ground I'm going to put, again, it's really a brownie colour. So I just mixed a brown and a white together. So I didn't make it too dark. So it's a bit of brown and a bit of white together. Like that. And we're just going to go in just a bit more brown, maybe. I just basically coloured the whole lot up here. All the way through, do, 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 in between his legs. That'll help to take any lines out as well. We have to put the shadow on the ground yet though. The shadow is very important to put on the ground. So that makes them look where they're standing. They're standing in the ground. So don't forget if you have any more, if you have any more um, suggestions, what, anything you'd like to draw, um, let me know. Um, and I say I have a badger now on the list. So I'll put that in in a few minutes. So we're going to just go in here all the way through here. You just take your time. If you're using a crayon doing this, often take off the paper off the side, if you have paper on the side of it, and peel it, and then rub it on it like that, you know, because it, it's easier to use that on the side of the picture, of the page. Um, I'm using a different colour brown, actually, than I did last night, actually, just realising, but that doesn't matter. This is a slightly different shade. Now, we're just going to put all of that a kind of brownie colour. Going around here, his little ears. 
Now what we want to do is we want to actually get some uh, a, a shadow color. So what I did, remember earlier on I said if you mix uh, a blue and a um, a blue and a, a brown together. So I said using your, I can't see my eyesight is so bad. I'll have to read this uh, later on um, because um, I need my glasses. Okay, so a, a, a blue, we'll use the dark blue, uh, sorry, and our brown together. And I'm going to use that dark one. Remember we use it in there, but we won't make it quite as dark. We'll put a bit more brownish because it's more mucky color. So it's a bit of brown and dark blue. And I'm going to put it underneath his feet. See the way I'm putting it down underneath here? Underneath him like that. And it just makes it look, and underneath his foot. So what it does, it makes it look like they're sitting in the muck. A little bit coming there. That could be coming from his leg in there. But don't cover it all in. See, like I'm leaving space. Don't If you put it all dark, it'll make it look like he's stuck to the background. You don't want that. So you want a bit of light in there as well. If you do go, just add a bit of more light brown back into it. That won't matter if you do, if you do too much of it. So I'm just going to put more brown in like that. See? And you can put little bits in in different places. Because remember, it's kind of mucky and it's kind of going to be all different kind of shades so it's not going to, all going to be the same color all the time so and you can even put lighter bits in it you can put more whitey whitey brown into it as well look see like that so you can add more white to your brown so you don't always just make it the same shade the whole way through it makes it much better when you've lots of different colors going through it you can have bits of grass going into it if you wanted to you know what i mean you could have mix your yellow and your blue a bit of yellow and blue out there because there's bits of grass coming through you can have bits of fun with that there's all kinds of things, you know, you can do, look, make so little bits of grass coming up. Where the, just mix your blue and your yellow together and you get a green shade. So you could do that. So there's lots of ideas you can do. You don't have to do it exactly the same as mine. Now, so all we really need to do now is, I, as I usually do, I go in with my black. Now, you may have to wait till this dries because this is quite wet now, but I'm going to go in anyway. Oh, do you know what I might do while I have my dark? I'm going to use my black pencil or my black crayon pencil crayon is a very dark one though you could use a marker black marker would be quite good but really make sure it's dry okay so what we could do is we're going to put in our i can make these into birds that's just me just doing this because i had marks on the page you see look i'm just using up my blobs that were blobs from something else you see and you can put some more down here you can put more down here and make it look like there's a whole flock of birds coming look see like that look so i can if you make blobs on a page you can turn them into birds see like that by just putting wings out of them now anyway we'll go back to the barn so i'm going to put lines coming down the barn because it's that kind of um uh, what do they call it corrugated um, sort of metal -y stuff it goes all the way up here like that all the way like that this is nice and dry this bit here so it's easy to do it on this bit this is the first bit we did and go around the top and go around the side. And we can do, we have already gone around with this, but we can do is we can make it look a little thick. So watch, if I give this another little line, see the way I've done this line? If I do another line in here like that, and then come down like that, it makes it look like this, this is, there's a thickness on it. It's not flat. See? See like that, look? In like that. And like that so you give it an extra bit of a line on it okay and now we're just going to go around our little our little um our, our little animal so we're going to go around his little face and we can put in his little nostril so we can put in a little two little two little lines like that they're almost like lines rather than holes because they're going to be at an angle okay see and we're going to come around his eye and we can darken his eye and we can leave a little white space in it say like a little white space or you could, if you do it all black, you can put a little bit of dot of white paint in it afterwards. So then we're going to come around. And I did two little lines on either side of his eye like that. Because they've kind of got eyelids. They have funny little eyelids. I was looking at pictures of them last night. Now I'm going to go, I'm not going the whole way around his head. Look, I'm going to leave that gap in the middle. And then I'm going to do his ear. A little line in his ear like that. And again, I'm not going to go the whole way around his head, neck here. I'm just going to go, remember that circle we did? I'm just going to go down as far as there. And then we're going to go around his back like that. And then we come down his little leg. And in and out, remember I showed the little trotters? Let's go in and out like that. Now this bit, 
we can actually do a line coming down on a leg like that really strong and then up and down and up and we do a little line from his belly now watch this i'm going to do a little line here watch i'm going to just see right there and i'm going to do it like that i'm not going to go the whole way i'm just going to go a bit of the way and it makes it look like it's got a little fat tummy on him see and then we can do the same on his back then we can come down around like that but we can come in a little bit on his body and all the way down there like that run down, 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 down. and up and down and up there we go so there we have his little this little fella done and then we're going to go move to his little friend sitting on the ground so again we don't have to go around the whole head we just go around a bit of the head on the top see like that and then we'll do one ear i didn't do the other ear in that one one ear like that i'm going to put a little line in it like that as well see and then we come down under his ear and we go right down to where his nose is like that then we do the same on the other side we'll do his ear like that and a little line inside and we come all the way down to his nose again see where i left a little space here just means that his ear looks like it's kind of stuck to this, his head not kind of behind his head you know it doesn't matter too much if you don't if you do it the full way now we do his body and we just get a little line that goes all the way just like that wherever the body is now your body might be further away from him than mine see where mine was in the first one it's further away and this one he's kind of stuck up against in the air quicker now so we do his little eyes so little eyes are going to be like this kind of a way and little line like that little and I'm leaving a little space on his eyes too, look. Little white space. But you could, if you do it all black, you can paint it in either. It doesn't matter. And we're going to go around his little nose like that. And we put the two little nostrils in then. At an angle. See the way they're going down at an angle. They're not going straight. And we put a little line up here. And we do another line. That's the lines we did earlier on. I'm just not going a whole way around them. See the way I leave the gaps, look. Otherwise, it makes it look like they're two, two separate from the face. And then all we do is come down his little leg like that. And we do a little, do a little dirk thing in for his little, um, his little trotters. And the same on the other side like that. And then you can put little lines going through the, through the ground like that. Make it look kind of bumpy, you know, like a, you know, little wiggly lines kind of going through. Make it look like there's a surface on it. Like he's kind of got, it's all could be stony you even do the little bits of grass that i did there see i did those little bits of grass sticking up and you could put them in and then put a little zigzag around them and put a little bit of ground underneath depends on what kind of where you put your grass or where you put your uh, your ground what way you did it okay and so that's really him you could put if you want to mark the tail more obviously you can you can make it look like that if you think it, it needs it it might look quite nice makes it stand out as a little curly tail so now there we go um, and that's really it i think yeah i think that's it um so uh yeah so now all i have left to do now is to uh, oh yes what was it a badger i have to put it in a badger in my, in my tub so please if you have any suggestions i will read it later on i'll go through the rest of them later on just when get a piece of paper here um and i'll see because i do i don't see them all i'm finding really hard to focus my can't see in the um against the light now there's my badger gone into the tub so there we go. I'm just putting it in and I've just got to juggle everything around here a bit. Give it a good pot. Let's put a few suggestions in now. I'm going to close my eyes. I don't look in. I can't see where I'm not looking. It's down here. So I'm looking at you. And I'll see now. Where is it gone? Yeah, I have something here. I have no clue what this is. Last time I picked out the one I just got. I have a little lamb. We have a whole farmyard. farmyard. We've had a calf. We had a piglet. And now we've got a lamb. So you'll have a, soon have a whole farmyard done. Uh, in no time at all so um there we go and today is what saturday so hopefully um i'll see you again on tuesday and as i say you can have a look at this back i put my hand in red paint uh you can have a look you can have a look back at this later on if you didn't catch up on it and i'll put it onto youtube this evening sometime and i think of another one to put on as well okay so listen thanks very much and please share the video because it's they're there for you to enjoy and hopefully um yeah see you again on tuesday bye now thanks again